Okay, Jules, welcome to IPTL in Singapore, our second venue. Your first taste of it uh, back in Japan. What did you make of the format and the, the experience as a whole? Uh, yeah, it was wonderful. Experience was, uh, it was truly unique. Um, it's a different uh, kind of tennis, of course. Uh, the format that we played and then uh, the different dynamics of having the legends, former past champions uh, of our sport on the team along with uh, you know the best female players and then you get like some very very good doubles player i mean it's a it's a great dynamic um japan was my first uh, my first tie really and um i had a i had a blast it's just a fun event to be a part of and uh, and share it with all these uh, these great tennis players i've been watched a lot of the tour this year i thought the standard of tennis was very very good in japan particularly your uh your hot shot, I think, on day one, that was something else. Yeah, the uh, no, the standard of tennis has been great, and uh, it's funny because uh, we have this this crazy format that we play, and then nobody ever knows how the other team's going to come out. But then once the ball is tossed in the air, everybody's fighting and clawing and trying to win, and uh, you can definitely see that out there. But uh, that makes the event uh, extra special as well because you do want to compete and, and give it your best and win for your team. Um, yeah, and as far as uh, the hot shot, I. I somehow always seem to find myself in a few crazy points here and there. Maybe I'm uh, in the wrong positions more often than not and finding myself having to improvise and uh, then some crazy stuff comes up. But uh, yeah, I saw it on the first day of the event. Uh, I was a little behind the back shot and then I finished it with a put away at the net. Uh, it was nice. It was, uh, it was just a spontaneous reaction and it happened to go my way. And I guess it must have been nice to be part of the whole sort of Kei Nishikori show in Japan that you get a taste of what a star he is. Back he's right. uh, yeah, he's a massive star. I mean, we, <laughs> we the first match we played, he wasn't there, and then for the last two, he came in, and you could see it in everything. The crowd attendance went up right away, and uh, just Kei being around the locker room, everybody, you know, sense of respect also. And uh, then he comes out and just plays unbelievable tennis. Uh, I think he had a very good match against Burdich uh, on the first day and then on the last day he played Nick Kyrgios who is such a talented and, and gifted player and, uh, and uh, he did well against him as well but we were so, uh, I think everybody on our team, um, we were in awe of his, of his tennis, how quick he was and how well he played and uh, it was such a treat to uh, have him come in and, and, join, and help our team out and, uh, yeah, and even watch him play really. I would imagine you're another of the players who likes the team format. Any individual sport, it seems like a refreshing change for you guys. Yes, I love it. I'm a big team guy. I, uh, I've played college tennis before. I've done uh, world team tennis before, which is a kind of a, a similar format that we play. And this uh, IPTL has been fantastic. And uh, it's a great idea. Um, you know, I hope more and more people uh, come out and enjoy it. And, and, and we get the backing for it. It's, it's great. It's uh, such a fun event. Even the legends and our past champions, they, they rave about it and, uh, and how much fun it is to share with the, with the younger generation guys that are playing. And it's just, uh, it's nice because it's a, yeah, it's a nice change of uh, the day-to-day -day, um, tennis life that we currently have where it's, uh, it's a lot about yourself and um, taking care of yourself and not having to worry about really a team around you. But uh, yeah, the team aspect of it, uh, it's nice as well as uh, yesterday when that was our first real or my first trip uh, with, a, with, with a lot of the players coming from Japan to here to Singapore. Um, it's kind of unique to go to the airport and you're 12, 13, 14 man deep and uh, you know, uh, traveling all together. You get a sense of, uh, of being on a, on a football club or something and I think that's uh, special as well. There's of course lots of conversations about tweaking the rules in tennis, isn't there? It's an ongoing discussion, maybe a shot clock coming into tour tennis. It, are there any of the, of the slightly different elements of IPTL that you particularly like or are a fan of? Yeah, there's a few that I like. Um, I'm, I'm one of the, uh, the people that think tennis uh, needs a little bit of a change. Um, as you can see it with other sports, it's coming slowly but surely. Not every sport uh, embraces it right off the bat, but I think um, I'm a huge sports fan, so I, I follow pretty much everything. And uh, baseball is my... Uh, uh, or let's say our biggest sport back home where I'm from and that's probably the slowest one to adapt to these rule changes but even them they even they they, they find themselves having to adapt and change and make their sport a little bit quicker a little bit shorter perhaps for the viewing uh, audience and um, yeah just uh, I think in the beginning change is always uh, nobody really welcomes it all that much but then you, you kind of get used to it like everything else and um, as far as the specific changes I I'm enjoying the shot clock. It, spe shot clock, it speeds up the game a lot. I enjoy 
the uh, the toss. I think you should have one toss, just toss the ball up and hit it. If you give a bad toss, well, then that's your fault. You know, you didn't get to do it again. And um, things like this, I mean, really speeds up the game. The no let, I think that only happens uh, a couple times uh, a set, really. And it uh, could be for you or against you, but I don't think that's a big... Uh, I've, played, I've played that format in college as well, and I think players will adapt as well. So I'm all for these new changes. Um, I think that's the direction of uh, where things are going. It's got to be um, a little bit more spontaneous, exciting for the crowds as well. Uh, a little bit more entertainment maybe for the crowd. And uh, I think, or at least I'm hopeful of tennis moving in that direction.